The Bible promises that one day there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. Or are we going to heaven when we die? I mean, what? I don't... Oh. Hey, it's time for Uber Grace. Let's get Uberlicious. Back in the time that Jesus was speaking and all the writers of the New Testament were living in, the Jewish faith, of which they'd kind of come out of, all had a specific idea about their temple. And for them, the temple in Jerusalem, which was this amazing place where you went to meet God, that was where heaven met earth. Heaven and earth meet in the temple. So later on, when the writers of the New Testament start to talk about there's going to be a new heavens and new earth, they are referring to a whole new system of dealing with God. What's happening is by AD 70, the temple and Jerusalem are gonna to be toast. There was pretty much a seven year period in which the, the forces of Rome built up and finally they, um, they went in and absolutely destroyed. It was absolute carnage. It's actually still one of the worst sieges of a city that's ever happened. And it literally wiped out a whole city. It was a massive city, Jerusalem as well. So yeah, really nasty stuff. Back in AD 70, the temple went destroyed. Jesus prophesied this and said not a stone will be standing uh, on top of each other in the temple and that they absolutely flattened it. Jesus prophesied something had happened and yet we're still expecting today for the identical thing to happen. Got to build the flipping thing first. You, you know, it's just like, wow. So anyway, the time leading up to this was known by those people as the end times. It's the end of the age. It's the end of the age that they were in. And when the temple went, a new age was beginning. Although back then their ages kind of overlapped. So the, the Jesus was around a little bit before, well, 40 odd years, wasn't it? Before AD 70. And then afterwards, the whole church starting and stuff. So yeah, the new heavens and the new earth is actually really about something else because the old heaven and earth meeting together thing had disappeared now we're into something else now if you remember just after jesus had turned water into wine he said to the guys that were with him you're going to see heaven open and the glory of god going up and down on people heaven open on people even back then in that story of the water into wine which is one of my favorites but actually Jesus then was saying, it's not gonna be about the temple. The heaven and earth thing is no longer happening in there. You all are temples of the living God. Every one of you is a meeting place of heaven and earth. Every one of you have got this within you. You don't need to go to no temple, man. You don't need to go to no church building, although they're handy. You don't need to do that because you are carrying the glory of God, the glory of heaven and the glory of earth within you. And you are releasing that, manifesting that into the earth. That's what the new heavens and the new earth are. You are, absolutely. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, you are the dwelling place of God. You are the Father's house. You are the new heavens and the new earth meeting point. Heaven is open over my life. Earth is open before me. Come on, let's bring on some uber grace into this world. Hey, have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.